Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Nish Kumar Singh and if you remember in previous tutorial we have covered a lot about how exactly to work with releases and sprint. Release, uh, we created a version of the release in our project and also created a sprint where now we have to add the task by converting the epic into user stories and also definitely the various tasks involved in completing those user stories. So today in this particular tutorial, we will be creating a lot of tasks and also understanding that how exactly an issue can be created as a user story or as a task in the project of Jira. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started with the project and understand how to create user stories and tasks in a Jira project. I hope you're following the previous tutorials pretty well and uh, trying to grab all the necessary information because that will be definitely required at any point of time to follow the further tutorials and relate them back to the one which you started with. So as a part of this tutorial, we will be covering two important topics of Jira project. That is how to create a user stories and how to create a task. Well, as you remember, in our previous tutorial, we created a release and also had a quick epic which was already created. And also part of that, we created a sprint which is now executed. That means it's begin and it is already showing us that TIN, that is testing in nutshell project sprint one, is having one issue and the sprint is started already for 14 days between this date to this date. So all you have to do is get started and definitely would have added your task and you can associate that. But in today's tutorial, we will be understanding how to create user stories and how to create a task. So let's start with the user story where this particular project epic will be converted into different user stories. So at any point of time, if you want to visit your epic, what exactly it is, so you can see that create an app to get news. Now we will be just creating different tasks and uh, user stories associated with that. To do that, all you have to do is click on create button. And here you need to make sure that you observe that what are the field differences and what are those details and description which we provide when creating different work item types. So your project remains the same, of course, if you want, you can switch it right from here and drop down in order to pick up a story. Because first the epic will be converted into story and then the stories will be broken down into different tasks. So assume that your first story is to create a dashboard, which simply means that it is all about creating a quick dashboard uh, to see different types of news or different segments. So let's make it as to create a dashboard of news items. Now this will be just like, you know, you get a dashboard where you can see that sports, uh, entertainment, politics, and different segments are being highlighted to you uh, on the dashboard. So that is our first user story. And if you have any attachments, you can go ahead. If you have any descriptions, you can include them. Reporter is obviously the person who is creating it. So by default, it's me who is creating. So my name is being popped up here. If it has any kind of linkage to any other issues, you can relate to that. And then you can continue further. You will see that relation to pick up the issue. So now you will see some issue items being listed here, which are already created. So you can relate to that. Fixed version. So now you have the release which you are using. So you can associate that release to this particular user story that we are expecting this user story to be released during this version 1.0. Assignee uh, automatic or you can manually select whom you want to put it to. So let's go to assign to me. And uh, because I don't have any members right now, uh, later I will add some members and show you how exactly this uh, will be helpful. And we will be talking about how to add people to your project in the next tutorial. Labels, if you have any, you can include them. Uh, as of now, we have not created anything. And epic will be definitely important because your user story must fall under a particular epic so that traceability can be performed. And uh, if in case your epic gets modified or changed in future, definitely would require you to have all the necessary linkage in order to see the impact on the test cases. And sprint, of course, your ongoing sprint can be associated with this and click on uh, create if you don't have anything. Yeah. So as you're adding, as you're adding uh, the task after creating the sprint, this message will be displayed that sprint scope will be affected by this action. 
The reason is you may have different estimates for each task or user story which you are creating and your sprint is already estimated, your epic is already estimated. So of course uh, you need to figure out things that will it happen within that or not. So Jira is very much, very much compatible with those things. So click on create and that's how you actually build up your user story. So user story is now created and you have it right here in the beginning. Now, similarly, when you want to create task or you want to create a different work item, you can make use of the same button that is to click on create. And uh, instead of selecting user story, you will select the task. So task is a subset of uh, user story where user story is a subset of epic. And task is just like breaking down a user story into very simpler forms, which could be executed at any point of time. So say, for example, creating indicators, uh, which could be like blocks, indicators for politics summary or politics news summary, you can say. And similarly, we will have multiple tasks for that. So again, the same fields are here. And I'm just quickly moving it to whatever we have covered earlier and assign to me epic link TIN1 sprint TIN1 sprint1 and again we will have this message now if I want to continue creating I will use this button here which I taught you in the previous tutorial and you can click on create so now you will see that this window will not disappear but it will create a issue for you already there now similarly just continue doing that so create or creating uh, indicator indicator which generally means that a block indicator for sports news summary which will be like quick highlight about that what exactly is happening so again release is associated so can you see that your previous data will remain here so it will save a lot of time for you in order to you know repeat that if you want, you can also make use of the priority at any point of time uh, in order to define that what could be the priority of that particular task. So we will be using different priority at different point of time. Now let's, uh, okay, so let's do one thing. Uh, probably, no, okay. Should have copied it before. Creating indicator for, mm, this should be entertainment. news summary and again all your other things will be remaining here as usual because you're continuing on the same window and click on create so similarly you can go on creating your task and once you are done you can just uncheck this for the last one and click on create so that the window will close i didn't do that but so i can click on cancel now so sorry uh, if i've entered anything no cancel yes so now you would see that I've got a few other tasks being listed here and this includes uh, different icons. So for Epic, we have a different icon and for the user stories, I have a different icon and uh, for the task, I have the blue one. And you can always go to the issues section to see all your different issues uh, put together and we can definitely uh, look forward to have more details. You can refresh it because generally by default it may not take and now you can see how exactly you can find the details what you have mentioned don't forget also we are talking about the create subtask here you can always create a subtask if you think a task is quite bigger or you want to distribute among your team members in order to perform that activity so all you have to do is go to a particular task for example in entertainment i want to create a subtask so click on create subtask here and name the subtask as uh, indicator for movies Okay, and let me just copy this because I'll be creating more. Then indicator for theaters and uh, probably indicator for TV shows like, you know, Big Boss and all other things which happens here. So yeah, the reality shows and other things. And even you can have it like indicators for online web series. Yeah, which all falls under that. So this is where we talk about the uh, subtask, which helps you to work on uh, dividing something into different uh, subtasks as well. So maybe your parent task could be quite bigger and you want to handle it. So the only objective of uh, 
the JIRA project or Agile methodology is to break any work item into as simple as possible so that you can deal with it and understand it and then definitely continuously integrate them to the right set of uh, application work piece. So that's all from this particular episode team. I hope you got a very good understanding of what exactly is an issue story and uh, task and how to create them. At the same time, I gave you a bonus top up here that is how to create a subtask related to a task in Jira project. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.